All right, so some of y'all need to know how to remove tailgate and rear glass trim on a 68, I would say 68 to 72 Vista Cruiser. And this probably goes for a lot of different GM wagons because they basically all had the same shape on a tailgate. But in this particular instance, to get this chrome here off, you have to take out the entire window channel. Okay. Then you got the screws here and you take off. You can get to these three without taking the channel out, but to get to this one, you gotta have this interior panel out of the way, that over there. So take these off, take them off, pull the L pieces off, and then take the window channel out. You got screws holding the window channel in. First, you gotta pull the rubber out. Take the window channel down, and then you can get to these screws and pull this chrome off. Now, that was def de de decently easy. Now, tail light housings, you got four bolts. You gotta take the lenses and out, take the four bolts out and hook the lights. This, I have not figured it out yet, but it's gonna have to come off eventually. Rear bumper, four bolts, uh, Pretty self-explanatory. Uh, this one, this car, they use some kind of goofy bumper bolt without a head. So it started spinning. And so I just went ahead and took the bracket loose. So I'll have to torch. I mean, well, I don't have a torch, but grind that, that off. I need to get me another plasma or something. You can see these. I'm going to use another one of these because this one's got some damage. Um, overall, pretty solid car here. Uh, it's got the third row seat. May or may not mess with that right now. Probably have to take some of this because I want all this crap to match. And uh, what I'm going to probably end up doing is having all this stuff wrapped in vinyl. And just this car's days of hauling parts out of swap meets probably gonna be all but over but um that's okay um now i want to talk about the tailgate trim here very easy right there three nuts on both sides drop the tailgate take a nut driver take them off these are just punch in clips take a screwdriver some of them will pop out some of them will, um, the clip will come out with it. If the clip don't come out with it, go back with a screwdriver, a pair of pliers, pull the clip out. Save the clip, because I'm not sure about the aftermarket availability on some of this stuff. Um, this emblem, I do not know if it was had been off before. Um, but nonetheless, it was just glued on. This one here... Had the still had the uh, Vista Cruiser still had the nuts on the back, so had to. Uh, and now I found out another trick. Um, if you want to get this glass uh, up without um, without the tailgate being shut, that's what this does. So there's a wire that runs from the motor over to here, and what this does is grounds, and it lets the window go up. So what you do is you have a tailgate open, you flip this switch and you operate it with the key and you can pull this glass all the way out with the tailgate open. Just be careful, you don't want to forget and shatter it. Then you can get to all that crap. You can get to the window motor, everything really easy. The only thing I can't see how to get to easily is this thing. So if any of y'all out there has had any experience with these wagons and you can tell me how to get this chrome thing off. Uh, I'd sure appreciate it. Otherwise, thanks for watching the video. And hopefully if you're working on a 68 to 72 Vista Cruiser and probably many other GM station wagons, this is the same procedure you're going to go through to remove a lot of this stuff. And one more thing I want to talk about is this piece. 
it has a push-in clip that's real skinny and it, it hooks on the back side of here so it, it won't come off. So you have to get up in there and push that thing so it'll slide out. Real pain. Going back, easy. Getting off, not so, so, so much. Out of all of this stuff I've done, it took as long to get this one piece off as it did to get all of this crap out. Probably spent 30 or 40 minutes trying to get this piece of chrome off. Otherwise, I'm going to briefly show you um, how this stuff is held. You've got clips. This stuff here down the... Um, where, the, where you have the rubber seal to make it look finished and good here is just a clip like this and it just simply pops out so easy. So what you do is you take off all of this molding and then this will just pop right out. This here is just self-explanatory just like a uh, back glass on a Monte Carlo. This is like your back glass on a money. But this here is a real trick. A lot of this chrome was in mediocre shape, so I'm about to have some of it refinished. And this mirror, you have to just basically, you can loosen these Allen screws, and I can't remember which way. I think you loosen them from down this way. And you just take it, if you take the end of a rubber of a wooden hammer, you just kind of hit it a couple times and it'll slide out of the slot and come off and it'll break in the floor, which is what happened to mine. So don't do that. <laughs> um, I knew how to break it, I took it off, but I forgot to catch it when it didn't lay nothing soft down. So um, anyway, I'm gonna be going back with the Monte Carlo style mirrors, probably not the oblong, but the round. I, don't, I never did like this mirror, it was on these cars. Uh, door handles and locks are the same as Chevelle Monte Carlo. This stuff here is going to be a little bit of a trick. It's kind of held on an edge, kind of like the rain gutter trim, but it's a lot wider. This piece here is just screws. Um, so not really convinced on what I'm going to do with this here yet. Um, but the car's got to be sandblasted, so um, the more of that stuff that's off, the better. Uh, so anyway... If uh, hopefully that clears up some questions you might have on your 68 to 72 uh, Olds Vista Cruiser Buick Sport Wagon and possibly other GM wagons, I would imagine, like I said, probably has the same scenario, the white emblems and this thing. I, I imagine this here is probably the same on all the GM lineup. Um, looks like I looked at a Chevelle wagon on the internet today and it, it looked the same. So uh, anyway, good luck out there. And... Uh, I've got to have this expensive bumper re-chromed, and uh, I'm just knocking all kind of stuff over. And uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.